Hey guys, Tyrop here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your Warcraft 3 Reforged graphics from looking like this into this using the Quenching mod. So to get the mod, you come to this website here, warchasersreforged.com slash en.html. If you forget the en.html, we'll take you to the Chinese site, which looks like this, but you can change that with the toggle up here at the top, no problem. And then you come across here to download the files. We'll open up a Google Drive, hit the download, and that'll get you underway. It's about 850 megabytes at the moment. That may change with the uh, later versions. So now we will run this file. And the Google Translate of this wasn't terribly helpful, but what it wants you to do is point it towards where Warcraft 3 is installed. In my case, that is F Blizzard Games Warcraft 3. Okay, and then down here for next. So yeah, for me, it's gonna come up with a whole bunch of contradictions because I've already installed this. So I'm just gonna hit cancel. Oh, I can show you yes to all, I suppose. Show you how long it takes approximately. It's gonna overwrite all the stuff that I did, but not the end of the world. And yeah, it's uh, not too long to uh, install all of this. And there we go, now it's all installed. We'll go have a look at the directory itself. So here we are in the directory that I have Warcraft 3 installed. And this is what you need to run to get the mod going for the first time. So up here you can see uh, go standard, that's the quenching, new classic or turn off. However, the first time you install it, you might not be able to get the reforged quenching graphics going. It might give you an error when you click standard. So if that is the case, then you need to come to uh, setting in.zip and then just drag all these files out to here. And then that should work. That's what worked for me. Run this again. Switch it over to standard. It will take a little bit of time here to install. And there we go. You also have the option of uh, changing the UI. At the moment I'm on the original, but the quenching is like a reduced UI, so I might as well show you that as well. So now we'll load into Warcraft 3 and show you how it all looks. So here we are in game and what you'll need to do is come to the options menu and make sure that you have Reforged toggled on down here. So if you don't have Reforged, you won't be able to take full advantage of the quenching Reforged experience. Also, uh, when you install this, it tends to reset your custom hotkeys, set it back to classic. So if you've got a custom hotkey script, you want to come through here and change it back to custom again. And then that's it, it's all installed. I'll go into a game quickly here to show you guys what it looks like in game. So here we are in game My with the uh, Quenchy Mod graphics and this is the Quenchy Mod UI. You can see it's much reduced, especially around here at the bottom. This portrait's kind of see-through. You can actually click units through there as well. I wish those like little gaps. The damned stand ready. Where Which is kind of crazy. <laughs> Not that you probably want to, it's such a small gap between here and there, but you know, and the UI overall I think is uh, scaled down quite a lot compared to how it is in Reforged usually. And you can see uh, just the land is far different and the water is crazy different. So you can, uh, I think, tweak that if uh, it's not all to your tastes. Yeah, the trees are different, the lining's different, and yeah, that's a quick look. I'll do some before and afters on some various landscapes so you guys can have a better idea if you actually want to do this. So here we are on the winter map Northern Isles, going back and forth between quenching and reforged graphics in a few different places. And while I do think it looks quite nice with the quenching graphics applied, for me, I don't think it adds much to the visual clarity. Watching this back, it actually does make more of a difference during night than it does daytime. Now switching across to Echo Isles for a big battle scene with the other two races. Here I find the quenching mod's shimmering water a little bit distracting and I'm not a huge fan of the long shadows either. And then a quick switch back to classic for a final comparison. 
Overall, I think I find Classic the most visually clear, followed up by Reforge and Quenching not far behind that. However, maybe I can make Quenching more to my taste using its setting tool. So now I'm going to change the lighting to 225, maybe they'll change the shadows, which I wasn't a fan of. Now I'm going to hit basically every option down here and see what it looks like before and after comparison. For this one here, no function now. It says this option may take four minutes to go for my computer. As you can see there, it didn't take that long, but it does make me wonder. If, hopefully I didn't turn all these things off accidentally. So now we'll have a look at it before and after and what it looks like with all of these options changed. So here is the quenching mod before all the option changes and here it is after. And immediately I think I'm more of a fan of this style of water, what I believe would be the trans water option in the setting tool, though I didn't find the quenching water quite so distracting on Northern Isles. And now taking a look at the army, first off I'll mention the lighting, it has changed the angle of the shadows but not their length so still not to my taste and I think at this angle the lighting is worse making the units less defined and harder to see. The selection circle on the fiend is also much less defined now which I'm also not a fan of especially on a green landscape like this I think it makes it a little bit too hard to see what you have selected. And when it comes to the hero glow I think I prefer to have it turned on to make it easier to locate the hero during a hectic battle. And when it comes to the portraits I think I prefer the more zoomed in before to the zoomed out after. As for the quenching mod UI I do like its smaller size giving you more room on screen to see and control your units. However it also scales down the size of the minimap making it harder to see movements and harder to execute movements on the minimap and for that reason alone I will not use the quenching UI. If I could get the quenching UI with a full size minimap I would use it. If I wanted to use quenching UI these would be my settings and this is as of version 1.05. Standard quenching graphics with the original UI, 45 on the lights and transporter enabled. However for me personally I think the re standard reforged graphics are just slightly easier to see. And because I don't really like too many of the other features quenching mod applies, I don't think I would be using this personally. But let me know in the comments what you guys prefer and whether you would like me to use quenching mod in my shoutcasts. And I do think Classic as well still has an edge over Reforged on top of that. So I think Classic easiest to see, Reforged second easiest, Quenching third. But Quenching's not far off and maybe with further versions it could become a really really good. Well that's it for me, I hope you found this informative and until next time goodbye and good luck. Mm -hmm.